45 um, Twitter attacks are backfiring. If former special counsel Robert Mueller's testimony to the House to the House last week wasn't the clear victory that many Democrats had hoped it would be, there are indications it didn't go as well for 45 and as he and his allies have claimed either. The first evidence came on Friday afternoon when the squatter gave a series of nonsensical sound bites to reporters saying that Barack Obama had ruined the White House air conditioner system and calling for an investigation of how Obama, the author of a critically acclaimed, of a critically acclaimed memoir and a former president of the United States, got a book deal. As it turned out, this was merely a warm-up for what, um, for what is to come. A scorched-earth racist rant against Representative Elijah Cummings, a, Mar a Maryland um, Democrat, and his district in Baltimore. The rant has extended into a third day, and now, ha and now also, and uh, now he's n he's now also targeting Al Sharpton, who 45 claims hates white people. Not since the fall of eight of 1814 has there been such a concerned assault on the charm city from the south. But don't expect many anthems to be written about this battle. Even without even without the example of of 45's um full of, full assault against the squ of the squad of Democratic congressmen earlier this month. This routine is now is by now familiar. Faced with a series of headlines that he doesn't like, 45 endeavors to change the subject by whatever means necessary. It's reminiscent of the old parody motivational poster that reads, The beatings will continue until morale improves. Or in 45's case, the tweeting will continue until the chirons improve. In the past, this has worked well for 45. Um, his ability to change the subject has managed to prevent sustained attention on some of the biggest scandals of his political career. But there are limitations to this tactic, as the oxymor oxymoronic poster suggests, and they may be emerging right now. You don't have to look hard to see what 45 was upset about. Even though Mueller's testimony to the House Judiciary and Intelligence Committees was short on dramatic sound bites, and the infernal optics debates seemed to favor Republic cunts in the first day or so, it became clear by weeks end that this wasn't the death, spell, the death knell for investigations that the GOP hoped it would be. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi didn't come around on impeachment, but Democrats also showed they were not going to drop the matter and move on. The chairs of the two committees, Jerry Nadler and Adam Schiff, seemed perhaps more resolved to move forward after the hearings. On Friday, some Democrats said that they were conducting an impeachment investigation, while hastening to add that didn't mean that actually impeaching 45 was a foregone conclusion. And on Thursday, in the move that drew the squatter's fury, Cummins, Cummins Oversight Committee approved subpoenas for White House communications from the senior advisors. Um, um, 45's daughter, wife Ivanka Trump, and Jared Kushner, as well as the former strategist Steve Bannon. There are several reasons to question the eff 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 efficacy of 45's distraction here. The first is that it means that a piece of good news for the squatter Friday afternoon, a Supreme Court decision that allows the 45 administration to begin work on a wall on the southern border while litigation continues has been largely overlooked. A second is the same as the point that I and many others made after 45's attack on the squad. Exploiting racial tension has been a successful strategy for 45 and many other politicians, but open racism is, in addition to its moral repugnance, a risky electoral ploy. Third, and perhaps most important, a distraction works only if it distracts. 45 has successfully turned the conversation to his tweets about Cummings, but he has not turned it away from impeachment. In fact, he's deepened his problems as of yesterday, 107 House Democrats back an impeachment inquiry up from the mid-90s last week. That's almost half the caucus. Non-House non members, including Patty Murray, a top Senate Democrat, have also voiced support on, on impeachment. This is, in part, a testament of Cummings standing inside the caucus. There have, <coughs> there have been tensions between um, more establishment Democrats in the squad since, since the start of the Congress, notably between Pelosi and the foursome. When 45 attacked them, Democrats rallied against him, but they may have hesitated to line up too loudly behind the Rebel rousers. Cummings, however, is a 23-year 23, 23 House veteran, a committee chair and former chair of the Congressional Black Caucus. As my colleague Peter um, Nicholas notes, he was also a top Democrat who was willing to work with the White House. So 45's attacks show that he's willing to go scorched even, to go scorched earth even on members who are far more restrained than Ilhan Omar. The squatter may have underestimated the extent to which Democrats would rally around Cummings. The spark of 45's fury at Cummings matters too, setting aside the bio about 45, about, about Baltimore. What 45 is angry about is the subpoenas. No squatter likes being subpoenaed, but they are a well-established toll of Congress. I wrote to May that the more 45 stole most congressional investigations, the more likely it is that Congress acts. Members of the House may flinch at, 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 at hauling 45 up for impeachment on obstruction of justice related to the Mueller report or other causes. Seem political peril for themselves, but once 45 starts in, infringing a, a on their prerogatives as a 
as a body member start getting fired up when the squatter throws this kind of over the top tantrum about the oversight committee's tactics. He's fall he's fallen into um he's fallen into this trap. His attack on comments is designed to change the focus, but he's actually zooming it in. So yeah, basically his tweets are backfiring.